What is going on guys? Today we are doing something a little bit different. I am gonna be putting fishing in this video. Now about probably halfway through this video, I'm not exactly sure. I am gonna put yesterday's footage. So yesterday I went fishing, caught some fish, but not really enough to make a really good video. So what I wanted to do, this was very requested. On the video that I posted fishing out of this boat, I got a ton, a ton, and ton of comments on uh, on wanting to do a boat tour. People wanted to see this. They wanted me to kind of go in depth on what I have, you know, in here, how I have it rigged, how I have it set up, why I bought this boat, all that fun stuff. So I am going to be doing the boat tour as this title says, but about halfway through or a little bit on, later on in the video, once I'm done with the boat tour, I am going to show the, the fishing from yesterday. So hopefully you guys, if you guys came here for the boat tour, you'll see that. And if you guys want to stick around for some more fishing, you can do that as well. Before I get started, you guys have a few days left to purchase the Any Flare Apparel. If you buy a anything on the website, any apparel purchase, you get entered to win a $250 favorite bass fishing rod. So that ends on April 30th. So by the time you're watching this, it may be over, but it's going to be kind of close. So like I said, I'll link it down below if you guys want to have a chance to win a free rod, any apparel purchase, hat, shirt, hoodie, all that good stuff. Anyways, let's get into the boat. So this this is my new boat. This is the boat that I'm I'm keeping in Nebraska, I guess I should say. I do plan on getting a boat for Texas, and maybe some of you guys are wondering why. Why did I waste my money on a John boat instead of getting a big, nice boat? Well, here's the thing. In Nebraska, and this kind of goes for anywhere in the Midwest, uh, there's not really a lot of big lakes around here. A lot of them are kind of small. You can't go over more than five miles an hour on all of them, and they're, they're just really small lakes, and so you don't really need a big boat. And so I wanted to get something that I could just, as you saw, keep in my garage. And uh, anytime I'm in town, which is, you know, maybe a weekend or two a month, just kind of depends on the time of the year. In the winter, I'll probably never be here. But in the summer and the spring, the fishing is really not that bad. I've got family here, of course. So I wanted to get a boat that I could take out and go fishing with while I'm in town. And that's what I got. I got, I think it's like 14 foot. I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. And it's got a little, little 7.5 horsepower horsepower motor on so it gets going uh, fairly decent i'm just going to start at the front of the boat and kind of just work my way back so right here is the trolling motor it's a 45 pound thrust trolling motor you guys can see how i have it mounted it's just on a bunch of uh, i think they're two by fours or two by six i can't remember which one we used but basically we just drill them all together and uh it's on here it's i mean it's fairly stable it's not the most stable thing in the world but it's there and it works so that is what it looks like under the deck i've got a battery hooked up as well as a uh, a battery charger now this is just a 12 volt system so there's only going to be one battery but it's all hooked up it's hooked up to my depth finder and the trolling motor and then the charger so everything kind of lays under this deck out of the way and i can access it if i want to uh this this deck is not actually like it's not actually screwed down to the uh the actual boat just kind of rests on there um, so it keeps everything kind of hidden and safe and uh, out of the way. Right here, I have a depth finder. This actually has side imaging on it, down imaging, and sonar. And uh, of course, the screen's very, very small for side imaging, so it's kind of useless. But this is what I bought for my first boat, my very first John boat. And I've always had it. I've had it ever since. So I, I threw that little dude on there. Basically, I just use it for depth and, you know, obviously water temperature and that type of stuff. I don't really try to find fish with this. It's mainly just for the depth. And then right here is, of course, the deck. This is, this just, it lifts up. It's just a piece of wood. That's uh, that's carpeted. I hang a few baits right there. And the deck should have come back to here. Um, I mean, that would make mo the most sense and then make compartments. Um, and I may add that on. I'm not exactly sure what my plans are as far as that goes. I don't know if I want to take the time to do it. Um, the deck is relatively small. As you guys saw the first time I took it out, I, I, I fell. Um, but other than that, I mean, it, it's nice. And I keep all my stuff here, all my tackle, just kind of chilling right here. There's not really a rhyme or reason why I have some of this stuff here. And then right back here is just some more space. I have my rods back there for right now. Nothing crazy. There's not, I mean, this isn't like a super in-depth boat tour, but a lot of you guys wanted to kind of see how I have it rigged up. I've got the paddle, of course. And then back here is the, is the gas tank and the motor. And I've got life jackets and anchors and oil and rope and all that stuff. And then the trailer, you know, nothing special there either. It's not really anything super crazy. I know it's not... It's not a big nitro 21 foot boat with a bunch of compartments and gizmos and gadgets and everything, but you know what? It floats and it catches fish. I've caught a plenty of fish out of it already. What I encourage a lot of you guys to do is if you don't have a lot of money, buy something like this. It's not a lot of money, really. It's not. I mean, I know a lot of you guys may be in high school or even in middle school and are thinking, geez, you know, $1,000, $2,000, whatever it is, that's a lot of money. And I get that. I totally get that. I was, exact, I was in, in your exact place you know uh, only a few years ago really to where I was in high school I had no money whatsoever and uh, I bought my first jumbo but it really like this thing I was fishing three people out of this like me and two other people and it works just fine if you can afford something like this this is what I would recommend hands down just just a little wide John boat 
um, just kind of like a little beat up thing. Otherwise, if you can't, if you can't afford a jumbo, go with a kayak. They, they sell some fishing kayaks, really not that expensive, probably a few hundred dollars. Um, anything to get you off of the bank is really the biggest thing. Like just get off the bank. That's super important. It's just don't, you know, it, staying on the bank is fine. Pond fishing is fine. And of course I do it all the time. And hopefully you guys enjoy some of those videos, but getting off the bank, if you're, if you're trying to be an advanced angler, maybe a tournament angler, anything like that, you really just need to get off of the bank. And so anything that allows you to do that, whether that's a float tube or a kayak or a little bit of a little bitty John boat like this, but there's nothing really too crazy with this boat. It's pretty generic. I wanted to make this video fairly quick, uh, but as I mean, as well, just kind of touched over and just kind of showed you guys what, how I had everything laid out and uh, and kind of what it looked like let me know if you guys have any questions down below about this boat like I said it's it's fairly simple uh, fairly generic I didn't want to make this video too long and just I didn't want to talk 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 all the time the entire time I really just want to kind of show you guys the boat the layout how I have everything kind of set up and ready to go I'm gonna end the, the portion of this video here and I'm gonna start the fishing part hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of the the little boat tour it's just kind of like a little simple boat tour nothing crazy I know nothing fantastic maybe that you expected but I'm gonna start the fishing segment from yesterday right what is going on flare fishing fam we are out here doing big things in nebraska again fished a tournament last week won that we're doing a little bit of fun fishing have only about four hours i uh, i got some work done earlier today and i wanted to run out to uh, a fun lake this is a lake that i was at fairly recently caught some fish conditions suck it is cold and windy but I'm gonna do my best to teach you guys how to catch fish when it's cold and windy and the conditions aren't the best. Yeah, see how low the water is? Yeah. Normally I can catch fish inside the sticks right there. They're dry. That doesn't help anything. Let's go ahead and lower the water when they're about to spawn. You got one? Yeah. On the chatterbait? Yep. Okay. Might not be very big, but... First fish. Oh, I see it. It's twirling. What the heck? I think it might be a little pike. No? Bass. It's a bass just freaking out. First fish, finally, after a long time, about 40, 40 minutes. Woo! We're on the board, boys. Yeah, all those beds were bluegill beds. We'll get one out of these out of these sticks that are out in the middle. There's one. There's a fish. Little guy. We in the nursery now, boys. All right. Well, that got hot and heavy in a hurry. Not at all the size we're looking for, but hey, it's a fish. Get a start. Were there small ones? There's big ones. See you, Timmy. Woo! All right. Yeah, I do. I do. I had no idea that was a fish. Dude, they ate he ate it so funny. That is a fish. Oh my gosh. Finally. Finally. That's a good one too. God dang, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Finally. About two and a half hours. About two and a half hours into fishing. I decided to toss in the kind of like a little medium diving crankbait and actually caught a fish somehow, some way. That's a good one too. God, that's a fat fish. All right, well, maybe we stumbled on something, maybe. All right, Lisa, see you later. Fish. You got fish? Yep. Oh, uh oh, we might've just stumbled on, stumbled on the juice. Fishner just hooked up. I just released my fish. Uh oh, biggin? Uh, he's not. You can, I'll grab him. Lift your line. I'll grab him real quick. That's a good fish. Oh, dude, that's a big hand. That's a freaking donkey. That is two fish in a very small area. Wow. I think we found the juice. You guys are on the wrong side of the juice over there. Nice fish. All right. That's weird. We literally have gone for two and a half hours without a single fish and we just caught two in no time.
I sincerely hope you guys enjoy those fish catches. Uh, we didn't catch a lot. We caught two good ones though. Two two very solid fish. Missed a few fish. Fishing conditions were just not. They just weren't very good. But I mean, I wanted to show you guys those catches anyway, just because who doesn't like watching fish catches? I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate all the support. Like I said about the whole flare gear thing. At end of the month. If you want to try to win a $250 favorite bait casting rod. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love